take it away and introduce yourself for us. Yes, I'm Nick Antona, I'm Cameron's National Chairman and a member of the working part or group here organising the, uh, uh, well, setting up and running the uh, festival this year. I've, I've noticed you're starting to embrace sort of keg beer around the place. Uh, is that, so camera obviously traditionally very cask orientated, so is, yeah. this, is this a new momentum for camera? Or? What we've embraced and we, we redefined beer for us, we now have cask beer as, as, if you like, the unique British beer style for many years under threat. And, and, and we've got that. We, we will always be focused on cask beer as the, our premier primary beer to, to campaign for and support. But what you've got to recognise is, is that the industry's moved on. Uh, we're now getting excellent beers, live beers as we're now defining them, that are served from all sorts of dispensed uh, containers, not just a, a cask. So what, what we had to recognise was that you can get real beer in the same way of real ale and it's not necessarily served in a traditional container that could be a bottle it could be a can it could be a, a, a key keg or any other membrane type container uh, it could even be in in a, um, a traditional keg so we've got to recognize that that we've got live beer um, it's, it's still it's not been pasteurized it's not been filtered it's got live yeast it would meet a definition in any other container in our old in cask for, for being real ale it's just in a new container and that's what we've got to recognize yeah. and sometimes that means that we will be dispensing it or can be dispensed under co2 do you i mean i will assume you have a cask preference and therefore yeah, yeah, is there a favorite cask beer or cake beer that maybe you have i, I, I do prefer the cask beer because um at an early age, when I started my drinking career, <laughs> I, 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 rec yeah. I recognised <laughs> very early on that I didn't have the horrible hangovers <laughs> that I did have with the early um, keg products out there, the, the Watney's Red Barrels and things. Okay, I'm not young, but I'm not old in that sense. And so, um, yes, there was keg products around in the eight, early 80s when I started drinking that, that disagreed with me and whereas I didn't have that problem with cast beer. So yes, my preference is for cast beer. However, I recognize I go to places like Belgium, I go to uh, across Europe and recognize that there is some wonderful beer styles across Europe that are not cast beer. Um, and their beers are, are just as good and wonderful to drink and try. So I, I kind of diversified my range of beers. Um, and I do drink key keg beers in this country because I'm, I'm there to drink the beer. I, I want to enjoy the beer rather than primarily the container it's from. But again, my preference is cask, but I recognize you can get good beer in any container. Can I push you on a favorite then? A favorite? Well, I, I, I am a big favorite of dark beer. So I am very pleased today that Ellen 1872 bought a one champion beer of Britain. It is a beer I've had many times and really do enjoy. People have, uh, have been migrating towards darker beers for a while um, yeah because the, 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 a dark beer a stout or a porter can be a, a typical three four five percent right up to your imperial russian stouts yeah really so strong beers um, they're be expensive now and they're, and they're quite expensive <laughs> but um i think there's a such a range of, of strengths in in that area and 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 yeah we know dark, dark strong imperial stouts are very popular um and, and I think it's great that, that you've got such a, a breadth of beers now available in this country. Something that some of our continental cousins don't enjoy and, and regret. I'm more of a beer style person rather than an individual beer. So yes, I, if you said to me, well, what beer would you have in it was on the bar, I'd always go for the dark beers or the milds, personally. But it, I, I don't tie myself down to one beer. I like the styles yeah. more than anything else. And I do like sours when I'm on abroad and, uh, and even in this country. 